Welcome to the Ambient Tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to plan and prepare your synchronization setup. To properly plan for this setup, you will need a few critical pieces of information. Find out who is assigned the responsibility for synchronization of all materials. If it's not the sound mixer, responsibility may fall upon the DIT or a line producer. It's also important to learn if there will be a video village where materials are checked as well as the post-production contact person. Talk to post-production to learn the final distribution frame rate. Most commonly, that will also be the project time base frame rate. Decide with post-production or the production company whether to use time of day or if a specific start time is preferred. Do you foresee any special requirements or considerations? For example, will you be shooting during extreme temperature changes that could cause clock speed inaccuracy? If so, use the ACN CGM function to eliminate this potential problem. How long is your longest planned take? If it is fairly long, like the length of an entire show or concert, then sync all cameras and the audio recorder. But if all planned takes are rather short, then using timecode without syncing your devices may be sufficient. But keep in mind, it's recommended to sync devices whenever possible. Will slates be used for additional sync reference or for timecode only? The next important thing to learn is the make of camera the production will use and how many will be used. This will be important as not all cameras have Genlock sync capabilities and some cameras don't have onboard timecode facilities. It's also good to know the timecode and sync capabilities of the audio recorder. Make sure the correct cables are available for the specific camera model's timecode and sync ports. Ideally, have spares available as well. It's good to know if camera assistants are familiar with timecode synchronization and if they're willing to follow basic workflow necessities. Now with all the gathered information, we can arrange our setup. The first thing to do is define which device will be the timecode master. It will either be an audio recorder with accurate locket circuitry or a master clock generator that is in a bag or on the cart. If you want to use the ACN to control and sync all devices, you might want to equip all units with an external antenna to prevent potential range issues. But even if the units do go out of range, you're completely safe as ambient lockets have the highest accuracy clocks on the market. If you don't want to use the ACN wireless system and you would rather jam sync all units, keep in mind that all crystals that exist on Earth do age and go out of sync after some years. So if you're combining lockets and other devices with locket circuitry of different ages or from different sources, it's a good idea to check them and retune them. This operation ensures that all units are running at the same speed and it can be performed in just a few seconds per device with an ACC 501. In other words, tuning is beneficial every couple years while it lets you combine lockets from different generations with perfect results. Last but not least, test the system before the shoot starts to reveal and solve any problems you may not have considered. 